Another way that will allow us to group our layers is the ability to copy our widget as many times as we have our valleys and then assigning layers to each valley for them. Let's do it for the first of the valleys, for the Kurzweil valley. To this end, I mark our widget, then choose a function that allows us to customize the displayed layers currently. And now all the remaining layers are closed. When we have only three available layers, one could say that this widget is reserved for this valley. Of course, we can check if everything works as we want. What we have to do in the next step is to copy this widget as many times as we have other valleys. I'm copying it once. Maybe I will put it in this way. And now I choose three more layers that are responsible for the Maribel Valley again. Now I will repeat this activity three more times for each subsequent valley. Now, when our widgets are already properly prepared, we can use the so-called widgets controller. It enables grouping of existing widgets. That's why we will drag now our widgets for the widget controller. This is done as follows. We catch our widget and invade the mouse cursor to the widgets controller. Then we already have the first of the elements in our widgets controller. We have to do this for the others from the valleys. When all widgets are already grouped, we can check if everything works according to our expectations. Everything works according to our expectations. We can proceed to change several elements. The first element is the name of each window because at the moment they are assigned by default. Of course, we can change them here. When all of the elements have already been properly prepared, we can additionally change the appearance of each widget. To do this, we need to click on our widget and then in the place where our icon is. Then we will be moved to the window, which allows us to choose icons. However, it is also possible to add your own. I prepared for each valley corresponding to the letter. It may also be worth adding that there are definitely many more of these icons. Depending on our needs, we can adapt them properly. It is also worth paying attention to the fact of how our controller's widget will work in our controller. Therefore, in the Style tab, it is worth setting a function for the width that will allow you to stretch our widget. However, to sum up, we can copy many widgets of the map layer, then configure the display of the appropriate layers. And all groups using the widget controller 